Welcome back to Full Charge Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jover Charge, and we are here to charge up your gameplay for Hacknet. We're gonna do some CSEC missions today and some other cool stuff, so let's just get right to it. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go into this email that gives us access to the CSEC assets server. We're gonna click on those and log in. And what we're gonna find here is inside the bin file, there's going to be an SQL mem corruptor. So you wanna grab this thing because what this is, is this is actually our fifth way to deal with locked ports. So we're gonna be able to access more ports now. We have five ways to do it. We have the SSH hack, FTP bounce, SMTP overload, web worm something, and then just now this one, the SQL. So we can now hack five different ports. So this is gonna help us as we move forward in the various missions. So now go to the CSEC main server, and this is where all of the contracts are going to come from. So we're gonna log in, go to the contract listing, and here we go. We're gonna start with the first mission, investigate a medical record. We're gonna click on this, and we are going to accept it. Let's go to our email and see what it says. The Rod of Asclepius. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. So what this guy wants us to do is hack into a hospital's server, access this guy's medical file, and then forward him a copy to it. And that's no problem. We're gonna click on this to activate the IP address. And then here's some notes. We can delete previous notes and just give us access to this one. So we need to get access to this guy's file. So let's click on the university medical node here or the IP address, and we don't have admin access for now. Let's probe it and see what happens here. All right, there's a proxy, a firewall, and we have to hack four ports. So to open up proxies, we need to get just a couple shells up. So with our shells open, we're gonna start overloading that proxy while we work on the firewall. So we're gonna run analyze six times. All right, and here after the sixth time, we can solve it by typing in the first letter we see in every row going down, and it looks like it spells out the word medicate. And now we can start hacking through some various ports that are available. Looks like we'll do up to four of them. And we're gonna use our SQL memcorrupt on port number 1433, and that is gonna allow us to get through that port. And once we get through four various ports, we are now going to be able to use port hack and get in. So the database is here, and it looks like we have info. We can actually just search and we're gonna search the patient's name, Jonas Sandberg. And here is his medical record. Uh, what's here? Patient has an acute case of testicular elephantitis. First noted at age eight, treatment has been applied regularly since to great effect. Though swelling of affected region is incredibly noticeable, excellent hygiene practices and continued treatment has made it manageable. So we're gonna, e why would this be an option to just email this? That's insane to me. All right, well anyway, the email address we're gonna specify and we're gonna send it to gilla at jmail.com and that's going to send. Perfect. And then as always, guys, before you leave, go to the log file, remove everything, and then disconnect. And then we're gonna go over to our email and we are going to respond. And that is going to give us a successful contract for that mission. After you finish this mission, CSEC will unlock something called a theme changer. Now this is kind of cool. I'll show you guys one neat thing about this that I found right away. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the asset server and we're gonna download this theme changer. So we're, after you log in, you go to the bin file and you see the theme changer here. So let's get the SCP going and we're gonna download the theme changer. Inside the themes folder, you're gonna see all these various themes. So use SCP to grab multiple themes. We're gonna grab mint, we're gonna grab teal, and we're gonna grab blue. So let's go back to our system here and let's run that theme changer. And as you can see it run here on the side, theme changer, and we have a couple different styles. So when you click them here and you hit activate, it will activate the various themes. So this is the CSEC theme. Here's the mint theme. And as you can see, it changes around your different windows too. Here's the teal theme. And finally, we have blue. Now, do you remember the Microsoft server that we found a while ago? This server was too hard for us to crack last time we were here. But if you can get through this server, there's a neat little prize on the inside. So let's see if we can get in. There's a proxy running. So let's run two various shells and let's see if we can get in here. This is the Microsoft storage server you would have found at the end of the entropy quest line, if I remember correctly. So let's see if we can get into this system here. And then we are going to solve for 66YF 
B Z. And now we need to get into this server. We can use our SQL memory corruptor. Now we have our web server worm. We can run on port 80. We have our SSH crack that we run on port 22. And let's run FTP bounce on port number 21 as well. And that should get us in. That should be everything we need. Now we only have 30 seconds left, but what I'm gonna show you here only takes just a little bit. What we do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna grab a theme out of the sys folder. So let's hack in. Ooh, I don't think we're gonna have enough time. Ooh, we might not have enough time. Mm, nope, I don't think so. Um, oh God, oh God, oh God. Woo! Disconnected. I don't think I was able to delete everything though. We need to get back in that server. Uh, let's probe again. Okay, wow, holy crap. Let's get back in there. SMTP overflow. For some reason, oh, actually, I don't even think we can, we might just have to port hack here. Interesting. Okay, so the server stayed unlocked. Uh, we almost got caught there, but let's try again. No problem. And now we can just port hack our way in. So this is gonna give us way more time than we had previously. Cool. Uh, view the file system and themes. Look at this, there's a gold theme here. So we want that. SCP, and then we're gonna get that gold theme.sys. And then let's go to our system and run the theme changer. And we have a nice new gold theme here. Let's activate that. So let's use this for a little while, it looks good. Let's go to the CSEC contract database and let's access the next mission. The next one is called Teach an Old Dog New Tricks. What we need to do is we need to access the university's database, open up a file for a guy named John Stalvern, and then we need to change his degree from whatever he has to Masters in Digital Security. So let's find the uh, IP address here, and then let's open up the degree details. And this will give us a nice little note here that we can refer to while we go forward. So here's the internal academic database. So let's probe it and see what we can do. Uh, there's a firewall, so of course we're gonna use the analyze command. And of course that's gonna start a trace, that's no problem though. And we remember we need to change his degree from whatever it is to masters in digital security. So let's solve for A, C, A, D, E, academic, okay. And now let's run our FTP bounce and SMTP overflow. And after we run the various hacks, we'll be able to get in. Okay, now we're running our port hack. We have 65, 64 tracer seconds, whatever that means. This shouldn't take that long. We're gonna go into academic data and we're gonna go into the entry cache. And look, John Stalvern is right here. Now he has his name here and then it's masters in digital marketing. What we need to do is change masters in digital marketing to masters in digital security. And this is a really easy thing to do. You don't need to download any files and you don't need to delete anything. We can just edit this file here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the replace command. Then we're gonna list the file name. So it's gonna be John underscore Stalvern. Now you can hit tab here and it'll complete it. But if you don't type enough of his name, for example, if you type in just J-O, you're gonna see all these various guys with names J-O. So make sure you type out a few things, John Stalvern. And then in quotes, we need to type in the part that we want to replace. Now, since Masters in Digital Marketing has almost all the same words as Masters in Digital Security, we're just gonna change the word marketing, right? So let's change the word marketing in quotes and then space. And then in the other set of quotes, we're gonna write security. And then when we hit enter, if you watch his profile, now it says Masters in Digital Security. We're almost out of time. We're gonna have to log out of this server. Just go to the log file before you go, delete everything, and then disconnect. And then let's check our mail. And it looks like, I believe that's all we need to do. There we go, that's a successful contract here. All right guys, we're gonna stop the video here. Thank you so much for checking it out and I hope you're enjoying them. In the next video, we're gonna cover more CSEC missions. So if you didn't see one in this one that you needed, it will be in the next one, okay? My name is Jover Charge and as always, stay charged and we'll see you next time. Take care.